Oh my God, y'all. Sansa's having puppies. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm sitting down right here at my laptop about to have a Zoom meeting with Ann's BCBA. We opted to just do it over Zoom today. Usually we do it in person with our masks, but because it's the week of Christmas and things are really, really hectic, we decided to just do a quick Zoom meeting. And I mean quick, I hope this is quick because I need to get downstairs and check on Sansa um, because she is making some sounds this morning. So Anthony is with her right now and I just wanna join him. So I'm just gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. So yeah, I'm just waiting for the meeting to start. I dropped Ann off about 45 minutes ago. So we're just gonna do this and then I'm gonna upload today's vlog. Um, there's a plane going by. I love looking at planes. Okay, the meeting is done. Every time I have those meetings, uh, the one-on-one -on -one meetings with the BCBA, I always end up with like a shopping list of things that I wanna give for Ann to make things better and easier for her. So, so basically those meetings are just like updates on where she is, how she's doing, but also it goes the other way too, like things that we as a family need from them at the therapy center because they we are technically their clients, you know, so they kind of work for us. So just whatever things that we would like them to work on with her and things that we feel like could be better or whatever. Um, but I found out the weighted blanket that they have there. I found out how much weight it is. And I think she said it's about five, it's between five and 10 pounds. So the one we have is a little heavy. We're gonna go ahead and keep it because she's just going to get bigger as she grows but I probably will grab like a five pound one um, just to have for like daily use, you know, like throughout the day if, if we need it. And then I wanna also try and get her like a face shield instead of the face masks, just to see if that will be more comfortable for her. And then um, what was the other thing? I'm always taking notes, so I have like all this stuff written down. Oh, and some panties, because the last time we tried to buy panties for her, she was in like the 2T size. And then we kind of just gave up because she really did not like them and it wasn't really working out. But that was a while ago, so we're gonna try again and get some panties and see if that makes a difference for her in the potty training category. But anyway, that's just a quick little briefing for you guys on what we talked about. I'm out here in the garage because um, some of the gifts that I bought for some of Ann's cousins are out here. Also, some of the stuff that I got for her. So I need to get to wrapping. I was kind of hiding everything out here so Ann would see it. And I really didn't want her to see her cousin's presents because then she, she would think they were for her and I don't want the disappointment. But I got Ann this puzzle. This is just the stuff I got from Walmart the other night. I got her this puzzle because she's really into putting these little easy kind of puzzles together. So I got her the one that shows like the daily routine with the teeth brushing and the bath and the hair brushing and all of that. So I just need to bring this stuff in, wrap it, put it under the tree. Ugh. Okay, let's go check on Sansa. Look who it is. Look who it is. Hey, Tony Montana. You decided to go with the kitty gate down Sansa. Ooh, what's such a cow. She uh, woke up this morning crying. So she's experiencing yeah. some kind of pain today. You're not going to work today, huh? We're trying to keep her in here. It's very important that she stay in here and not roam around the basement. Cause like I said yesterday, I didn't want her like going in the corner behind the furnace and giving birth back there. You know, we really want her to do it here where it's comfortable, where it's sanitary, where it's safe. So Anthony decided we would use Anne's old um, play gate to kind of confine her. Now, now here's the thing, y'all, okay? This little play gate ain't stopping no cane corso. But I think it will at least deter her from jumping out of this thing if she knows that there's an obstacle. That's all. Yeah, hopefully she'll go ahead and stay on in there. And I want you getting out, Sansa girl. And then also, last night, Anthony went ahead and assembled this heat lamp just to have it ready to go. And uh, he brought a lot of the other materials down here as well. We also got some 
scissors of sorts, the bandage scissors for the umbilical cord if we need to do that. And then he got some antiseptic in case we need that. So we're just trying to cover all grounds, do the best we can, and welcome these little pups into the world. At this point, you guys, it could be hours to days um, before this thing kicks off. We have no clue. We're just gonna be on the alert and try to stay on guard and we're gonna keep Sansa in this area for now, um, just in case it happens at any moment. But yeah, she was crying this morning at like 5 a.m. Anthony jumped up. I was trying to snooze, get my little last few minutes to sleep in before Ann wakes up. But Anthony jumped up and came down here to check on her because, I mean, she wasn't crying bad, but she was definitely, she was definitely doing the whining thing. And she doesn't usually do that. You know, Sansa is a pretty quiet dog. So we were like, yeah, she's experiencing some contractions. All right, I'm back. I took the braids out and just put them, put the hair like this. It's really time for me to retwist my hair. I think I'm gonna not wash it until after Christmas. So we'll see. But anyway, I just took a shower, put on some leggings and this um, kind of cropped hoodie top. And you guys, I really wanted to show you these leggings because um, I got them from Walmart and they're fleece on the inside. They're so comfortable. Like, yeah, they fit so nice. Look, so nice and comfy. Love, love, love. It feels like pajamas. But anyway, I'm about to head out and pick up Ann from therapy. So yeah, I need to do laundry when I get back. But let me show you guys some presents that just delivered. So this is what's under our tree in our bedroom. It's really just like husband and wife presents under this tree. And so these packages came today. I'm really excited for Anthony to see what's inside of those. And then I just tried to coordinate the wrapping paper with the Christmas theme that we have going on up here. So that's kind of the look of our tree in our bedroom. Love it, love it. All right, so I'm gonna head out. Okay, we're back from Menards. We had to make a quick run and grab some stuff. I didn't take my camera or whatever, but I ordered us some food in the car on the way home, so I'm gonna grab it. Um, I hope this is the right stuff. I did not order a drink. I used my DoorDash for this. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I did order a drink, I forgot. This is for Ann. Ann had fell asleep and then she woke up. <laughs> yeah, we were at Menards, we were getting some um, some more last minute stuff for Sansa's birthing. So Anthony wanted to get like some gloves and some other stuff that he grabbed as well. So this is what we got from the Cheesecake Factory. You guys, I love getting their salads. So I got in these sliders, and I got myself a kale Caesar salad, and I got Anthony this um, Cobb salad, his favorite. And then, what is this? Oh, must be Ann's french fries, yeah. Some fries that came with her burger, and then this was her apple juice. And oh yeah, we're gonna make this for dessert, honey. I got this when I was in Menards. I'm really excited about these fudge brownies, honey. And oh yeah, you guys, we got these for the puppies. These little uh, ID tags, just different color um, felt, I wanna say, really soft material type collars for them so that we can just be able to kind of differentiate who's who. It's gonna be so much fun when they start growing up. And somebody had commented and said that they thought that Sansa's birthing setup was going to be closer to us. And I kind of wanted that, but Anthony was like, no way, Jose. He's like, it's going to be really, 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 really messy. And um, I don't, cause I wanted her to give birth in our bedroom. I'm like, we have the space. But Anthony said, no, he didn't want her to do that because of the mess. But we are gonna set up her whelping box. I'm gonna push for it to be set up in our bedroom so the puppies can just be with us, with Sansa in our bedroom. So I'm gonna push for that, but we'll see what Anthony says. But Either way, I'm fine with no. going up and down the stairs every hour on the hour. You know, I'm okay with that. I work from home. I'm here all day, so I am available to do that. But I wanted them to be near us so that I could check on them all throughout the night and stuff because I don't want any, I don't want to wake up to any like tragedies, you know? Um, but Anthony was just really not about it, so. Girl, don't have me putting a blow-up mattress downstairs and laying next to those puppies. But if anything, we should be able to at least put them in the family room 
uh, the whelping box I mean because you guys know the birthing pool and the whelping box are two totally different objects right so she's not gonna have those puppies in that pool the whole time it was supposed to be delivered days ago but because of the holiday deliveries and stuff it's a major delay on it so and you want something to drink girl she's trying to get in the refrigerator I actually don't even have an appetite anymore you guys after I ate the potato chips I really am not hungry anymore but I am going to wait a few minutes and see what happens and then I'm gonna try to eat my salad okay I also need to share with you guys this really cool Christmas greeting that we got from the sad sirens it's my girl Felicia and her husband Mark and they're adorable two beautiful children they always send us holiday cards but this one was very unique and different it got messed up a little bit in the shipping of it all but it says happy holidays fam stay safe mark felicia scout and hendrix and then y'all it's like a mixtape okay so you just scan this thing here hold on now i'm gonna open it apple music there is the mixtape it's a playlist with all their um i guess their favorite Holiday tunes. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, let me see which one we'll listen to. Oh, Anne will like this one. Go, Annie. Hey. <laughs> Go, Anne. Go, Anne. <laughs> Girl, Anne loves Jackson 5 now, honey. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the Christmas card, guys. Or Christmas CD, Christmas mixtape. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. Sansa's having puppies. Oh my god. Anthony. Where's the puppy? Where's the light? Sansa, you doing okay? Is it drinking milk? Yeah. Good job, Sansa. Good job, Sansa. Oh my god. Where's the cushion? Underneath? I'll put it underneath? Okay, so the cushion is underneath. He put it underneath the pool, y'all. Okay, baby, get the get the light. I wouldn't worry too much about the cleanup. We'll get how'd you get her in there? She went over there by herself? No, so because she was just doing so much. I said, Sansa, come on. Sansa ran. She ran, got mommy mode, lay down. Oh, dog. yeah. Yeah. Alright, Ann's upstairs running around. You doing great, Sansa. All right, y'all, it looks like she's she's licking the li licking the puppy pretty good. The puppy's nursing. She seems to be doing everything as expected. And there's just a little bit of something here when she was trying to make her way to her little bed. Baby, the towels. Where'd you end up putting the towels that we had? You end up washing them? Yeah. Where, are they upstairs? Yes. You want me to go get them? Put, put at least one towel here to kind of soak up some of the fluid and stuff. Oh my God, so Anne is up here. You see her sit on the floor right there? She's watching her little cartoon. I'm hoping she stays put for a bit. I had to come here and get my shoes, girl. I didn't think this was gonna happen right now. I wasn't prepared at all, girl. But Sansa is doing, she's doing so good. Well, at least with this one puppy, she's doing great. She's feeding the thing. Okay, everything's working out with this one. But she's still got to push out some more. All right, Anthony's getting the light set up. The heat lamp, okay. Girl, I was upstairs cleaning up Ann's playroom. I was mopping the floor and sweeping, and then Anthony came running up the stairs. Sansa just had a puppy. I said, oh, hey, I'm coming. I was running, but it's not its not an urgent matter. She's doing she's doing really, really good, y'all. Y'all gotta understand, this is my first time experiencing this in my adult life. Like, the last time I experienced it, it was with Lady, and it didn't go right, and I actually didn't even see her give birth. We came downstairs, we heard some moaning, we saw the puppies, we weren't even there for it. So this is my first time experiencing this, so y'all gotta cut me some slack, okay? <coughs> Baby, put your glove on. <coughs> Anne's watching TV up there, laying on the floor. She's doing pretty good. I'm so glad we didn't wait to set all this up. We would have been scrambling. Hey, Dadums. Guess what? Salsa is giving birth to puppies right now. Yeah, I'm taping it. <laughs> yep, she got the one out. She's doing such a good job, Dad. Salsa, gee. She's, oh, oh, here comes another one sliding out. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, Dad, gotcha.
Sansa is handling that business. She's biting the sack open, y'all. She got the sack off. She ate it. She got the umbilical cord. Look at her. So far we got two dark brindles. <laughs> they look like their dads. These are little rhinos. I didn't know that there would be so much licking up of the, like Santa's cleaning up her mess and everything, like there's nothing. Santa's doing a great job, you guys. Okay, so they're both making noise now. I'm, I'm happy about that. Licking and opening the sack. Yep, Sansa just needs everybody out of her way. She's got it. Putting the little pup over here on the nipple. You said what, Broski? Sansa's like, thanks. Puppy number four just came out. Sorry, I'm holding the camera all off. I'm trying to look myself. She's getting that sack off. Let me just soak up some of the fluid so she doesn't have to work so hard to get it. It's kind of a good thing that the pool is kind of slippery because as, as they're coming out, they're just sliding right down the pool because of this surface. So low key, a really good idea on the low. Come on, come on, you gotta get over there. Get in there and get some milk. I know I'm probably doing too much, I'm gonna back off. <laughs> this is my first time, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm just trying to help clean up some of the blood here to make Sansa's job a little bit easier so she doesn't get exhausted. But you guys, she's doing so good. She doesn't seem too tired or anything. She's she's really, really doing it like a G. Cause I saw some of these Cane Corso birth videos and those dogs, some of them, they just, the puppies were sliding out in the sack and the dog was just letting them stay in the sack. And then the breeders had to like get in there and cut the sack open and get the puppy out, aspirate the puppy and all that. And Sansa is handling every single one. Anthony on the phone with his canine unit buddies, <laughs> giving him advice on what to do. So it's still just the four, you guys. I'm just checking back in. But they're all like fighting for the same nipple. Like what, all those nipples over there? Okay, number five just came out. Okay, number five. 
That's D'Artagnan. That's gonna be his name. His name's D'Artagnan. Okay, you guys, something really crazy just happened. Sansa needed to shift her body weight so she could drop a couple more babes. And she was like low key stepping on the puppies and all that. So we had to rush in, grab them and get them out of the way before she crushed them. Everyone's fine though. But she switched up her positioning. And then as soon as she did that, another puppy came out. So now we have seven. The smell of blood is really, really potent right now. The eighth one came out. And they're all just nursing now. It's almost 11 p.m. I don't know if you guys can see some of the colors of the puppies. As they dry and age, the colors will become more evident, but there's a little bit of variety. Girl, we're tired. We are tired. But um, I told you guys Anthony was talking with some of his buddies from work who work with like the canine unit and stuff. They kind of consider themselves to be really knowledgeable about dogs and breeding and all that stuff. And they were basically saying like, we have to let the puppies sort of nurse naturally. And I was a little skeptical about it at first. Like, mm, no, we need to get the bottle ready and all that. But even um, on the formula packaging, if you read the instructions, it tells you not to try and feed the puppies right away. They want you to let the mom try to nurse because I think, and this is just me speculating, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like letting them nurse naturally is like allowing natural selection to happen. So like if there's a puppy that doesn't make it, it's almost as though it wasn't supposed to make it. Maybe it was too sick. Maybe it had like some genetic disorders. Maybe it was, you know what I mean? So I don't know, but I'm just basing it off of the advice that we got from the canine guys and the actual directions printed on the formula so i don't know but we're definitely going to keep an eye on them we're going to go to bed soon because we're exhausted i don't know if anthony's going to go to work tomorrow or not i know he didn't go today because he had a, a feeling that this was going to happen today it's so funny so i'm really glad that it, it happened and he got, got to experience it but we really need to get some rest so that we can get up early and tend to these pups. I'll probably wake up at like five and just come and tend to them, but I need at least a good solid six hours of sleep for sure. So I have to go to bed now, but they all seem to be nursing and doing really well. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because we're so freaking tired and I know I'm gonna need the morning to edit this and make sure that it gets up on time. But before I go, I just wanna say thanks to everyone. Thanks for all your advice and thanks for all the recommendations and you guys put me on to that one kind of corso breeding channel and it helped me out so much i felt so empowered today to really help sansa deliver these puppies so i just want to say thank you to everyone and i will follow up with you guys tomorrow and you guys will be able to see the puppies as they're officially a day old so stay tuned i'm going to be posting everything and i just thank you guys so much i'll talk to you tomorrow sleep tight Come huh.